What is up my ninjas? Dark Frog Ninja here for another video update. This reached the two month mark on the Biopod Aqua, so let's get started and see what we got. Let's start with the moss. We got terrific growth here. Look at this. Look at this. How thick and beautiful this pillow moss is. Also known as mood moss. Also known as frog moss. Pretty cool. I've never had any kind of moss survive and thrive ever. Uh, so that's a testament to the lighting and the misting, the humidity, and the biopod and the aeration. Uh, the ventilation, I should say, not the aeration. Sheet moss as well. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful goodness there. Check it out. All nice and green and doing well. We got some some more moss action on this log. It's slowly, slowly starting to creep all over the place and we're gonna get a moss covered log probably in another four months or so. Korean rock fern, check that out. This bad boy just keeps growing and growing and growing and growing. I don't see any fiddleheads, bro. That's a lie. Fiddlehead! There you go, guys. A fiddlehead popping up. So that's another new frond that's going to grow. Um, Japanese crested bird's nest fern. Look at you. Growing thicker. I was a little worried about this plant to begin with, but it is acclimated. Uh, a lot of the lower branches have kind of died off, which is fine. And now it's just got these nice big bushy leaves that it's uh, my frogs are going to enjoy tromping through and sitting and I could see them already sitting on top of this because this is actually quite sturdy it's quite like lettuce so um, it will support their weight pretty well bromeliad look at this guy look at the colors on this like I said it's transforming and slowly um, getting called different colors um, I've seen these guys be green with red stripes I've seen them be red with kind of greenish flex here looks like because of the light intensity and where it's at in the tank we are going to get a uh, bromeliad that has going to be red with green flex and as it matures and grows bigger uh, we'll start to see that more present uh, everything else is doing well I did put the sheet moss that's not doing so well it, again it was dying in the tent and the little container that I had it in because I wasn't really taking care of it because I didn't need it and this is just all the sheet moss that was left if it doesn't do good, I will remove it. It'll be gone, and that's that. Monkey pod, and those are springtails, guys. They're alive. Trust me. They are alive and moving. As you can see, that one right there is swimming around. Microfauna, I did feed them today, but yeah, check that out. Ton of springtail action. That is a uh, Rapashi uh, bug burger down there. There is a uh, isopods I saw baby isopods this morning um, so they're trouncing around in there then we have the back wall last but not least guys vines are going nuts I cannot tell you how crazy this is um, right now I'm really loving the uh, oak leaf uh, ficus here this oak leaf ficus is looking fantastic um, and then the Peperomia uh, rubella here, also looking cool. It's doing its thing. I'm letting it do its thing now. I'm tired of trying to train it to where it wants to go. I will let it do its thing, all of them, and uh, I'll trim and do what I need to do from there. But look at that back wall, guys. Give it a couple, maybe two more months, three more months. Oh, it's going to be green. And then we have this guy, the mystery plant. What is it? Who knows? But we will find out. Lastly, I will end on my isopod master culture. I had somebody ask me uh, probably a few weeks ago to do a video on them. And I did do a video set up, but I will do a nice little update because they are going nuts. Let's take a look. All right, guys. Let's see what we have in here. Whoa, there's some right there. And I'm sure I've got... Oh isopods everywhere they are um, buried in the soil as you can see they are eating up the magnolia leaf they're chowing down on that um, I couldn't be happier they're all inside the leaves they're on the, they're in the soil 
there scrambling and then again I have bug burger in there but these guys uh, are doing extremely well couldn't be happier um, and I have added them into my tank I will continue to add some more into my biopod um, as I continue to get more but they're they're everywhere like uh, this is a bad representation I uh, fed them earlier this today and they were all out all crazy it was they're scattering everywhere now um, I've gone back in here and they're all back to hiding either in the wet egg crate or in the soil so there you go there you have it giant gray isopods and that's it for this week's video update a big female I can't wait to get them into the biopod uh, my parts still have not shipped so I'm waiting on that and then once I get that done I will fix that up give it a, pro a few days maybe a week and then the transfer happens there you go guys this is dart frog ninja saying frog on and have a ninja tastic weekend